my core competency has been building a business. I thrive on the thrill of building. And I don't thrive on the thrill of managing low labor warehouse employees to do my pick and pack fulfillment. So uh, there came a point where I had 20 warehouse employees. Things were really getting out of control. I didn't have bin locations. I didn't have barcoding. There was no systems that could really handle my size of a business without spending a lot of money or taking a percentage of my revenue, which I stand against. Uh, and I came across the 3PL uh, that could, and I trained them from the ground up on how to do my pick and pack process, and they really forced me to grow up and become a better seller. As you're building a warehouse and your business is growing, your variable expenses grow. So you need to hire more employees, you need to probably pay those employees more money. You have more, more payroll, more insurance, more workers comp, and so your cost structure is always going like this. When you enter into a 3PL environment, your cost structure is an inverse cost structure. So your, your, uh, your fixed cost is now a variable cost. So it can scale and contract as you grow and you get, you get bigger, you get smaller. Um, you don't have to pay payroll insurance or workers' compensation insurance. So there's a lot of intangibles. So like the first month that I went to an outsourced model, I saved $10,000 in returns. Now since I run Scubana, uh, I've focused on delegating low value activities and outsourcing them to other individuals uh, and save higher value activities for the employees that I, that I really have on the ground here in the United States. So the first thing I would say for everyone here to do would be just diary things that you do during the day. What are all the things that you do during the day? Repetitive tasks, things that take up a lot of your time and try to, like the way you run your business is a reflection of yourself. So you gotta focus on yourself first and then you can start outsourcing other employee tasks. So, and a lot of people like to outsource, they outsource because they think they want to get more done. But really what you want to do is you want to outsource to get less done for yourself first, to give you more mind space so you can actually talk to your employees and give them other tasks and outsource their tasks. I don't sit with my employees all day. Actually, I run an over $20 million valuation business with two employees, which is outrageous. So the thing is, is you want your employees, you want to think about the calories of where your employees are spending their time and have them create a list of everything that they do during the day. And then start th seeing those inefficiencies and in what they do after you found your own efficiencies and what you do. When you're outsourcing your tech stack and your process is important, it goes hand in hand. So, I mean, I'm the CEO of Scubana, so we created a software that automates at least seven people in your organization's roles and responsibilities. We're talking about like, automating purchase orders. Right? Who needs to like, create a purchase order? We automate it. But other softwares that you can use like having the proper operational software, then you start adding processes on the, on the software. So another great software I use uh, to automate and delegate would be a Trello. I had my accounting firm doing my QuickBooks and I think they were charging me somewhere around $15,000 a year to do my reconciliations. And so I said, why does it have to be this way? Uh, <laughs> that doesn't really make sense because this is really just reconciling QuickBooks and my credit card statements. So I posted a job, I did interviews for a bookkeeper uh, in the Philippines and for the US. Somebody in the Philippines got the job recently, I, I awarded her the job and she's been at it, she's an animal. So she's been doing it for like two weeks now. Found all these mistakes from the previous company and I had her systemize every freaking mistake, right, in this operational document that I'm preparing to send back to the accounting firm to be like, guys, WTF, what's going on here? I don't outsource because I'm a cheap person. I do it because it's cost effective. But if you're spending 12 to $15 in the US for a US asset and they're working, I don't see a good trade trading that off in the Philippines. Like the people that I pay in the Philippines, I'm paying anywhere from 10 to 13. I know that's, you're gonna be like, hey, that's high but I treat them really, really well, make them feel really, really good so that they never, ever, ever leave.